Welcome back to the WPN, the Women's Pro Wrestling Network, and we are pleased to bring you a match from Raw Wrestling, presented by Atlanta Wrestling Entertainment. Be sure to check them out at uh, Facebook.com and on Twitter, ATL Wrestling. And, uh, of course, the sister promotion that they operate is Raw Wrestling, which provides a great deal Fantastic women's wrestling. They can give you a drill right here on this channel. That young lady in the ring right now, Penelope Ford, part of their talent exchange from Combat Zone Wrestling. She is one of the uh, the graduates of the CCW Academy. Pause a second. Let the owner speak. Well, I think the music is ready to go. Well, if yeah. you may not have heard, because of certain fans out there yelling and screaming, she was pleased to be in Atlanta, Georgia, wrestling in a new state. And I guess in this case, new state and city. There's her opponent, somebody that she is very familiar with, Brittany Blake. Of course, these introductions that I am giving you precede the actual ring announcements. You will hear, hear and see their names again momentarily. Uh, that young lady is a uh, noted cosplayer. Little little facts there, as you can find on her, her Twitter page. And I love it. The ring announcement was just made for the special referee here. I was going to get to that, but uh, somehow or another, Astro Star has worked himself into the match here. Uh, for those that were not aware. When the match was initially announced, Ashley wanted to, or he campaigned, if you will, to make it a three-way match. Anyway, he campaigned to make it a three-way match uh, between himself, Penelope Ford, and Brittany Blake. That was turned down by AWE management. However, uh, they did allow him to come in as the special referee for whatever reason that you can hear his fans out there screaming. So follow her at the Penelope Ford. At Brittany Blake. Can you say it? At Brittany Blake underscore. Tripping, fumbling over my words there. That, gotta get her Twitter across. At Brittany Blake underscore. Gotta remember the underscore. If you're gonna find her on Twitter. And uh, Ashton is already starting off. He's checking the ladies, but uh, it should be noted as they always say, and as the uh, ring announcer slash owner just told you, there are no rules here. So the perfect behind checking them, I really am not sure of. Nice arm drag to start the match. And another hybrid hip toss over there. Arm drag by Blake. So like they're exchanging, exchanging arm drags between Blake and Ford. They're going to need for what would have been a close line side headlock applied by Blake. Come on, girls. the ropes. Kick in the abdomen and chest. Duck up for the Matrix move. And Goes for a quick cover out following that leg sweep. Ashton isn't paying any sort of attention whatsoever. Surprise, surprise. As he uh, takes himself in the corner. Match continues. Blake charges in but gets thrown out over with a backdrop over the top as uh, referee takes a selfie in the corner. The crowd enjoyed the selfie long with him. Which is uh, causing concern by Ford as he goes out after that. Head first into the side of the apron. And as the outside hit, the almost at the famous pub, the, the event is almost famous, but this is the famous pub that this is taking place in. This young lady getting out of the way of the camera as the camera's trying to follow the action here. Of course, when it gets out of the floor and it's inside of the bar, it does make it a little bit difficult for the cameraman to keep up. Welcome to Atlanta, bitch! 
Okay, uh, unsavory words by Spark Rage. Which you can also find on Twitter. Quick clip for him as Ford and Blake work themselves through the crowd. You can see, uh, working their way over to the bar. Head first by Ford sends Blake out to the, uh, the hard wood of the bar. I know about that. A foot in the face sends her down. Modified clothesline. She didn't really get a lot of extension on it, but the arm was out, the contact was hard, and that was all it needed. Here's first to the side of the apron. Hardest portion of the ring. Except for that portion right there, the steel post that she just sent for face person. So the ladies uh, coming out of the combat zone academy. May well be used to a uh, hardcore environment. I'm certain if they aren't used to it, they will not shy away from it, as we can see right here. Blake picks her up. Forearm shot by Ford. Sends Blake down, and she exchanges it right back. No one has really established a. Uh, Clear cut advantage, duck up in the clothesline. Ow! And a big kick right there in the back of the head. Ooh. And an enziguri by Brittany Blake. You cannot turn your back on your opponent for a second. You get something like that. She came in with a big crossbody and high knee in the corner. Takes her out. Tries to catch her with a face plant, but it looks like Ford shoves her off. Duck underneath the clothesline. Hartwell into a high crossbody, hooks the leg, and Ashton is taking his sweet time getting over to make the cover. Ford looks like she's trying to apply a submission, a leg lock submission. Leg lock submission with the bridge. And, and he, rather than look for the submission, he decides to take a selfie with the submission going on in the background. But, uh, outstanding refereeing job performed by Ashton Star. Sarcasm as you can will tell. And big short strength by Ford as he picks Blake up with a beautiful suplex. Goes for the cover, very lax. And Ashton, not only was he going for a slow count, but wasn't even looking at the shoulders. He's looking at his own hand. And all it really, you can hear the crowd, that all they got out of it was a one count. Reversal by Blake, she's going off, float up, well, no, not a float up. She caught her with a, a head scissors, brings her face first into the second turn. Turns back in, Cartwheel. With an elbow, shades of the great Buddha. Blake is in a, not in a good position right now. Northern Light suplex with the bridge. Beautiful execution. And Ashton, again, not making any effort to make the count whatsoever. I'm not sure what that was about, why he would choose not to go down and make the count. Ford very well could have won the match right there. And this is, it looks like it's literally going to have to come down to a point where Smith had to knock her opponent out. Standing. Well, I was going to call a standing moonsault. Standing moonsault caught all of the canvas. Rocker dropper by Blake. Puts her face first. And it may have days for just enough for Blake to get some sort of advantage as she goes to the top rope. Comes off. Double stop to the small in the back. And, oh, my God. Ash has got Blake, tosses her out to the floor. Hooks the, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Tosses Blake out to the floor, fast counts four, and I'm not sure how this qualifies as legal. It's taking the victory lap. And the crowd is, in, this is called enabling, folks. <laughs> Fans out there enable people to cheat, then they continue to cheat. Although I'm not sure if I can, uh, yeah, look at that. Gives hugs to both of the girls. Uh, after, 
and his music plays. He, he gets the victory. So here you have it, folks. If you didn't see it, go on to Atlanta Wrestling Entertainment's Facebook page. You can see his monthly leader with the management to get the match. He didn't officially get the match, but apparently he's won the, the match anyway by making it an impromptu three-way. He just got called the winner. I'm not, I don't understand it. Your best friend will be back on March 20th. Marty Bell will be back in Atlanta as we debut at the Hamilton Road Community Center. Marty Bell is going to face another person you know very well, Kiara Hogan. Oh, oh, all right. Fuck them bitches. Part of the language here. The part is an adult environment, so. What can you say? Anyway, folks, that is the match. Go visit our website, WPNWrestling.com, and be sure to follow Atlanta Wrestling Entertainment. Thanks a lot for watching. Well, he's definitely slacking as a ref. Something had to have been up, but, I mean, I just thought he was just too more concerned about his, uh, his phone. I don't know. I was mad. I was getting really irritated. I think Rob was an understatement. Uh, we were just going at it, we brought it outside, brought it back in. He wasn't even counting and uh, just took advantage of our situation and think it's really messed up. So hopefully we get an opportunity very soon to take advantage of that. So everybody knows that I'm the person who took Roar for being a bathroom break to something that people come to see on a regular basis. So I personally feel that I'm kind of in control. So when I was especially as a referee and knowing that Roar has no rules, we can technically make our own rules. And as an official, I officially made myself part of the match. So.